I'm Jane Simpson. I'm a linguist. I work at the Australian National University as Chair of Indigenous Linguistics and as Deputy Director of the ARC Centre of Excellence for the Dynamics of Language. Well, linguistics is the study of language, but language is not just the province of linguistics. It's also part of literature, it's part of political science, it's part of philosophy, it's part of anthropology. So all of these disciplines are interested in language. I'm Hugh White. I'm Emeritus Professor of Strategic Studies at the Australian National University. I look at international affairs, particularly as they relate to Australia, a bit of a focus on defence policy in particular. I've been working on these issues for about 40 years. It matters to us, it matters to our society. I've always seen the work I do as very much engaged with the actual choices that Australia faces about how it makes its way in the world. And so there's nothing hypothetical about the issues I deal with. These decades are decades of astonishing change in Australia's strategic circumstances, in some ways the biggest changes since European settlement. And so although it's frightening and demanding, from my point of view there couldn't be a more interesting time to be asking these questions and trying to answer them. Linguistics brings a set of tools that help you understand how languages work in terms of their structure, in terms of word meanings, in terms of finding a good way of representing languages. I really love finding out new ways that languages work, new ways that people find to describe their experience, to categorise the world around them. Every language categorises things slightly differently and from looking at any language you learn new ways of looking at the world. In my work I try and span a wide range of different questions from what's happening in the world, what role is China going to play in the region, what role will America play in the region, all the way down to what kind of armed forces should Australia have and how much money should we be spending on them. And I try and integrate the issues that across that very broad span. It's a great honour to be accepted as a Fellow of the Academy of Social Sciences. I'm really looking forward to the opportunity of meeting social scientists from other disciplines so that I can learn from them and so that we can work together to improve things like policies with respect to language, so that we can learn more about the ways people talk, the ways people communicate. You know, when you're looking at Australia's place in the world and how Australia deals with it, the first thing that strikes you is how quickly that world is changing. And right at the heart of that is that we're living through the biggest and fastest shift in the distribution of wealth and power since Australia was settled by Europeans in 1788. Asia's gone through its industrial revolution. I mean, when we look at China today, what we see, the difference between China in 1980 and China in 2020, is that China has had its industrial revolution. And so it has become a modern, highly productive economy, and it's only halfway there. To have that recognition that the work I've done is seen by the people I admire in the social sciences as worthy of their respect uh, is, very, is very affirming. Uh, but it's also a, a, a great opportunity to engage with them and also to engage with government and more broadly uh, through this sort of new structure, new, op new opportunities. And I think at a time when Australia does face some very significant challenges and when I think a lot of the issues I've been working on relate very directly to those challenges, the opportunity that a fellowship of the Academy provides for engaging with government and engaging with the public debate is very welcome. 